Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome to this e-bike build video, or a rebuild video of an old school e-bike. Uh, an old school BMX that used to be an e-bike. Just a quick rundown. This bike has been with me since high school. Got me to my first girlfriend's house, uh, like four miles away from me. It was a country town though, hilly up and down roads. It felt like a crazy adventure. I was sneaking out at night. So a little better rundown of the stories I have with this bike, but it has been with me a long time and it's pretty sentimental. Last time I built this as an e-bike, I was not in the best of sorts. There's bad welding, bad engineering, and there's a lot of stuff I need to clean up on this bike before I get started. But a quick rundown to let you know where it's been. Yes, when this was a pedal bike, it got me everywhere. I cannot even, I wish there was an odometer on it that could tell you how many miles I put on this thing, but it's, it's, it's crazy. Crazy amount of miles. Got me to my first girlfriend's house, got me over to my buddy's houses, got me to parties. And then in my adult years, I decided to make it into an e-bike. I took an old boat trolling motor, 12 volt trolling motor for a boat. I chopped it down. I welded the pipe right onto the frame of the bike. It was a very crude construction, um, but I took the propeller off. I added a large washer, a bunch of smaller washers, and another big washer, and made a serpentine belt pulley. That went from the motor down to a 2001 2.5 RS Subaru crankshaft pulley off a blown Subaru motor out of my 01 RS. That went on to the, uh, the pedals spindle, whatever you call that. I just chopped the pedal bars off. Since it was a one piece, I swapped the gears, the big gear from the front pedals went onto the back, you can see here, to change the gear ratio. The small gear from the back went onto the front. Like I said, the crankshaft pulley was welded to um, the spindle, that gear was welded to the back of the crank pulley, so the serpentine belt went from the tooling motor down to the pulley, and then from the gears back onto the chain and around here. And I got lucky on the first attempt with the ratio. It was actually my only option since I had only two gears. But it worked out good. It was very slow at first. I was just using a 12 volt Trojan deep cycle battery. At first it was on the back using some rebar to make a rack, but that was really weird and turning and having all that weight back there. And it was a really heavy battery, so it was just not a good battery for this at first. But it was just an experiment and I did it all with zero dollars. This is all just junk I had laying around. So I went in, I think I saw something online, I went out into my stuff and I said I'm going to build an e-bike. So I did it. Um, so eventually, yeah, that rack got cut off. I took away the heavy 12 volt Trojan battery and put on that's what this plate is for. Actually, that was for the battery because it was too heavy in the back. It was weird turning, so it moved up here with this plate. Then the battery got removed, and I put three 14.4 DeWalt drill batteries after my DeWalt died. Um, worked out perfect. So um, I left it out in the rain, and the chuck froze closed so I couldn't uh, detach it and put on a new chuck. Or head, or whatever that's called. Um, so anyway, I had three batteries, tied them in parallel, positive to positive, negative to negative, three of them to increase capacity, and that was the game changer. This drove me at least two miles. I got two miles out of it, out of three DeWalt batteries. Got me up to the store and back. To engage the motor, I had just a starting solenoid, and this uh, set of green wires here just goes up to a little push button. And that was my throttle. Just a 100% stab it and go. Uh, thankfully it was very underpowered, low geared, and uh, that serpentine belt uh, custom pulley I made allowed it to slip too. When I switched over to the DeWalt, it had a little more torque. It would actually slip the belt a little bit, which was nice. I'd also give it a bit of a push and go when I took off. But we're not doing that this time. No push button throttles. I got a proper motor, uh, speed controller, twist grip throttle, it's going to be done a lot better this time. So, um, I'm going to chop all this old stuff off, the old rebar that was also used to make a pedal here. You can see I've got a, uh, my own pedal custom spot for uh, where I found the best position. I like my feet when I'm riding on a bike, stationary, because that was a weird thing to figure out without pedals. Usually your feet are one's out here, one's down here. You can kind of, you know, having a fixed position on a bicycle is a little strange. Thing to figure out and uh, I'm going to cut those off. The re all the rebar is coming off. I might reuse some of it for the new battery. We'll see how that works out but uh, the rebar is coming off. I'm going to take these stunt pegs and move those up here. That's just a way better um, feeling 
it's just a way, it's, just, it's, a, it's an actual foot peg, it's not a piece of rebar. Um, I'm gonna take this little button off, I was thinking I'd use that as a horn, but it's, it's hot glued on there. And I'm doing away with all the, uh, just trying to make things a little bit cleaner and do it right this time. So, got some cleanup to do. I gotta get this old chain off of here. It's just kind of zip tied up out of the way. So there is the throttle. Just gonna take that off. That was, uh, I think out of a microwave, a little safety switch for microwave. This, these just went down to a uh, starter solenoid and that went from the 13.4 uh, D waltz into the uh, trolling motor that was right here in the same location. I was just welded to the frame. It was a pretty Frankenstein bike, and I do have footage of this thing running in the original setup, and I will, as soon as I get that off my laptop, I promise I'll upload that. It was just a short video. I had it up at one point, but I didn't give any narrative and uh, or any background to it, so I took it down. Now it's on a laptop that needs uh, data recovery or uh, just a fresh install of Windows. Probably gonna try and get it off first. Here's the original position for the pedals. That I, uh, before they, this bar went here, I had them up here, and that didn't feel right. So a lot of this, a lot of this gunk, I need to chop off, clean up. I want to get some of this black paint off. I did that because I was riding it at night, wanted it to be stealthy, and of course now I regret it. Also got some straightening out to do on this back gear here. I didn't do a very good job of centering it or getting that welded on. In fact, looking at my welds, I think it'd be pretty easy just to cut that and re-center that. So a few things I got to do to make this ready. So let's get to cleaning it up, get it prepped. I'm going to get everything off of here so I have nothing but uh, clean and ready surfaces for remounting uh, the motor. I'm going to take this plate and take this plate off and put it down here for the motor. So hey, anyway, let's get to cleaning it up. A lot's coming up. going to be a multi-episode project, I think, with this one. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.